first for David. Are you excited to be back in Perth? Uh, very much so. Uh, a special place. My first son was born here, so uh, now it's great and obviously a lot of fond memories of walking out onto the Oval here. What are you expecting from West Coast tomorrow? Uh, look, they're, they're up and going. They're playing really well. Obviously, they've got a new coach, so it's a little bit different from when I was there, but um, no, their forwards are playing really well. They've got a, a dangerous midfield in terms of their ability to spread and run and use the ball, so we've got to uh, lock down on them, turn it into a contest and play the game on our terms. The Eagles have, have changed quite a bit in, in the off-season, but three years that you spent with them, any sort of tips or tricks that you can sort of pass on to, to the side to face them? Well, look, as I mentioned, the game plan's probably changed a little bit, but as individuals, you know the individuals, so um, players have been coming to ask about those those players, players they may play on, so I'm hoping that I've been able to give them a little bit of insight and we'll be able to execute tomorrow. A uh, lot's been made of the Eagles' uh, height, uh, particularly up forward. Is, is that going to be a, an issue for you guys tomorrow? Oh, look, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge we're looking forward to. So last week we, we played against GWS and they had a couple of good tall forwards and our backs uh, acquitted themselves really well. So this week it's another challenge. So we're looking forward to that. Um, obviously with, with Nat Nui, Cox, Sinclair, Darling Kennedy, they've got a lot of marking opportunities. So hopefully that'll give our backs some, some good practice, some, some good body work and some good attempts at uh, defeating quality opponents. How do you contain the scoring power? Actually 39 goals in two weeks. Yeah, look, I, I suppose uh, it's often mentioned, but if you can win the ball in the middle, if you can make it a contest, um, that helps your back line. Obviously, you need to get numbers back to support your backs once they're getting it in there, but on the flip side, if you can control the ball, take the ball forward yourself and, and score, that makes it a lot easier as well. Uh, the ball closer to your goal makes it hard for them to score. Am I right in saying you've flown 24 with Danelle? and longer, is there a chance there might be a, a change up in the mix for tomorrow? Uh, look, we've got a, a couple of guys that are a little bit sore, but no, at this stage we should be going in as planned. Um, I think most teams fly one, we've chose to fly two, um, so no, no, at this stage we'll be going in as planned. So no temptation given the extra height that West Coast plays to play longer as well? Uh, look, obviously they've got quality tools, um, Nat Nui Cox and Sinclair's playing well at the moment, but we're comfortable with our structure, the way we're playing at the moment, we're going to back that in. Um, we believe that uh, contesting ball is very important, that's often one on the ground, so we've got to make sure that we're winning that. What about the wide expanses of this ground compared to playing at Etihad regularly? Yeah, look, to be honest, it's still quite narrow and obviously working here for three years, you, you realise that it's longer, but it's not any wider. It's actually uh, narrower. So uh, your ability to hold the ball in your front half is actually easier. And it's probably uh, clubs that do travel over here often uh, probably go away from their structure due to the size of the oval, but we're comfortable that our structures will, will hold up anywhere, anytime. So we're going to uh, back that in and uh, just play our normal game. And a word on Revolt, you've been watching him from afar and, and watching him as an assistant coach of another club and now you're seeing him in full flight. How good is he from close up? Yeah, it's interesting and uh, he's, he fits the mould. I can remember when Judd first came to Carlton, I thought, gee, he's a great player. And then watching him close, you really appreciate it. And the same happened with Darren Glass. I used to cut cli clips of Darren Glass for the young defenders at Carlton and uh, working with him and watching what he does all the time, um, Nick falls into that category. He's an absolute professional in his preparation and the way he goes about his game his work rate and what I've loved and I haven't noticed uh, when I wasn't here is his defence. He's getting up, he's pressuring, he's tackling, he's chasing and uh, he's leading the way in that area. So it's, it's always hard for the forwards to do that but he's given us an option but putting pressure on as well which we really value.